Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome to another Nerdy Nummies. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit weird. I've been playing the game Tofu Hunter. It's a flash game on the computer and I thought, okay, I'm going to have to make like camo cupcakes for this. It's so cool. I wanted to do something hunting themed and there are so many hunting games out there. I played Oregon Trail growing up and there was a hunting part of that and there's duck hunt and there's deer hunter. So today we are going to be making deer hunter camo cupcakes. Let's get started. The things you will need will be a white box cake. If you don't have a box cake, just use your favorite white cake recipe, whatever one you like. This recipe calls for four eggs, and we're just gonna be using the egg whites, and then one and a fourth cup of water, a third cup of vegetable oil, and some chocolate melts. Yum, yum, yum. You also need some plastic baggies. If you don't have these fancy ones, that's okay. You can just use a regular Ziploc bag. And you'll need four food coloring dyes, black, green, brown, and ivory for our camo colors, a cupcake tray, and little paper liners. I'm using brown ones. And you'll need a big mixing bowl, and you can either use a stand mixer, or an electric mixer, or your hand. All right, let's put it all together. You're gonna pour in your cake mix into the bowl. Just make sure it's a white cake, because we're gonna dye the batter different colors. You're gonna add your water, add the oil, now the eggs. Now we're gonna add our four egg whites. And then we're gonna mix it up until everything is combined. It takes about two minutes on a medium speed. <laughs> I snapped my neck. Once your batter is all mixed up, we're gonna pour it into four bowls evenly, and then we're gonna dye it the four different camo colors. So I'm just gonna eyeball it. Doesn't have to be perfect. Oh God, my arm, my arm. <sighs> Uh, uh, it's heavy, it's so heavy. Ah, ah, biceps. <sighs> now that we've got the batter separated into our four bowls, you're just gonna take a few drops of food coloring dye and put them in each bowl until it's the color you want. We just finished dyeing all of our batter the different camo colors, and now we're gonna take your plastic baggies and we're gonna fill them up. I'm just sticking them into a cup and then you fold the sides down so they look like this. Makes it easy to transfer. Then you're just gonna pick up a batter, pour it into the baggie, take a little elastic hair jobber, tie it on tight, and then you're gonna do this to all of them. Once you got your batter into your little baggies, individual baggies, what we're gonna do, this might get a little messy, so I put down a plate with a paper towel on it, and we've got our cupcake trays ready to go. You're just gonna snip the tip, a really small one, at the end of each one, and you're just gonna make little camouflage dots all over. We're gonna put one, two, Three. Then you're just gonna keep alternating your different colored batter, putting them in between, and keep filling your cupcake trays until they're about two thirds full. Once you got your cupcake trays filled, they should look a little bit like this. Look at that, super camo, they look so cool. You're gonna give it a little tap on the table to let our batter sit, and then you're gonna heat your oven to 350, and we're gonna bake our cupcakes for 18 minutes. While our cupcakes are baking, we are gonna make our deer decorations out of our melting chocolates. You can heat these up on the stove or in the microwave, whatever you'd like, and you're just gonna put it into a little baggie, and I've got a number two tip here at the end, and then here I've got a cookie sheet, a piece of wax paper, and this little deer head template. I made this in Photoshop. I just found a little deer icon on the internet and then I made this template. I'll put a link down below if you wanna use the same template that I made. Then you're just gonna stick it here onto the cookie sheet, tape it down with a little bit of tape, then take your wax paper, put it on top and tape it down. Now you're just gonna trace your little deer designs with your melted chocolate. Take your time and it's okay if you mess up. Doesn't have to be perfect, just resembling a deer head. 
Once you got your chocolate deers all ready, we're gonna stick these in the freezer for 10 minutes to let them set. And while they're in the freezer, we're gonna be making some camo swirl frosting for our cupcakes. Now we're gonna make camel swirl frosting and what you're gonna do is take buttercream frosting and dye it the same colors that we made the batter. So I've dyed the buttercream green, black, brown, and this kind of beige color. And I've put them in four individual bags because we're gonna be putting them together into a jumbo bag. I've seen this done before, this is my first time. This is like when you go to McDonald's and you get a chocolate vanilla swirl ice cream. Um, only we're gonna swirl four colors instead of the two. So we've got this big jumbo plastic bag and the tip at the end is just like a tooth jagged star tip, I don't know the name of it. And I put a piece of tape at the bottom covering it so that when I put the frosting in, it won't come out of the bottom. So I'm just gonna stick it in here. I found a big vase, so just use anything around the kitchen that you have. Then what we're gonna do is take a pair of scissors and snip the tip of each bag you can reuse the bags from the last one, that's fine too. And you're gonna hold them like this, put them in there together, and squeeze out the colors. Okay, that got really messy, but I got all of the frosting in the bag. And it's okay if it's not perfect. It's camo, it can blend. And so I'm gonna set this aside. Here are our cupcakes, they just finished baking. Make sure they've had plenty of time to cool before you frost them. You don't want your frosting to melt. And look how cool they look. Now we're just gonna make a swirl of frosting on the top of each of them. Now we're gonna take your chocolate deer heads out of the freezer, stick them on top in the frosting, and we're all done. Ta-da! Here are the Deer Hunter cupcakes we made. They turned out so good. I'll put a link in the description to that silly flash game that I've been playing, Tofu Hunter, if you guys are interested in checking it out. I really like these camel cupcakes because you can theme them for all sorts of video games, from hunting to army games like Call of Duty. They're really good for birthday parties. I hope you guys liked it. If you have any other suggestions for any other nerdy nummies, please let me know. Leave me a comment down below and I'll do my best to make it happen. Also, I'll post lots of pictures of these little deer hunter cupcakes on my Tumblr, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. And if you guys make these camo cupcakes, please send me a picture. I love reposting them and reblogging them. I get a big kick out of seeing your baking creations. Just makes my day. All right, thanks again, you guys. Bye-bye. Nee, 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 nee,